Welcome to this introduction on how to replace the inserts of a lighted DT speed gauge and how to perform a calibration of depth. You will need this set of tools for the operation. Unscrew the weir bushing and pull back the measuring sleeve into the handle. Now turn the adapter. The white dot on the adapter indicates the position of the internal hexagon in screw. The lock screw can be loosened by the key tool through the keyhole. Now you can pull out the plug adjusting rod. Place the plug adjusting rod in a vise and knock the insert loose with a gauge and a soft hammer. The new insert is mounted and knocked into the plug adjusting rod. Use a soft surface for this. Lead the plug adjusting rod over the motor axle and push it into position. By correct assembly, the edge of the brass ring should be 5mm under the edge of the wear bushing. When the white dot points towards the keyhole, the lock screw can be tightened by the key tool. Now you can tighten well. Then pull the plug adjusting rod to ensure the rod is placed properly. Next, release the measuring sleeve and screw on the weir bushing. For adding a battery, Open the battery chamber on the back of the DT Speed. For right hand thread, place plus pole pointing outwards. For left hand thread, place plus pole pointing inwards. The torque is adjusted on the knob on the back of the DT Speed. For screwing the insert in and out, push the slider forwards and backwards. For calibrating the gauge, do the following procedure. Switch on the display by pressing the on-off button on the gauge. Then press the millimeter inch button to select the preferred unit of measurement, in this case millimeters. Press the ref button for one second and get into ref1 mode. Press REF button to confirm. Next, take the calibration tool. Press the tool against the go end and the measuring sleeve. Make sure set is shown in the display. Press the set button shortly and the display will show the value 0.00. Lock the calibration by pressing the REF button for one second and the REF1 shows in display. Finally, check the calibration by pressing the calibration tool against the go end and the measuring sleeve. Now the digi speed is ready for proper measurements. Calibration of digi speed gauge with extended measuring depth. Beware of the size of the gauge to match the correct calibration tool in size and pitch. Now switch on the display by pressing the on-off button on the gauge. Press the millimeter inch button to select the preferred unit of measurement, in this case millimeters. Confirm the preferred measuring unit by pressing ref button for one second. Ref1 shows in display. Press the ref button again and hold it to switch between set and preset. Select preset by releasing the button. Press the ref button repeatedly to select the digit to pre-code the depth of the thread hole. Now you can select the wanted value by repeatedly pressing the set button, in this case the value 6. Press the ref button to select the next digit to pre-code the depth of the fret hole. Again, 
Select the wanted value by repeatedly pressing the set button, in this case the value 7. For confirming the values, press the ref button for 2 seconds. Now press the calibration tool against the go end and the measuring sleeve. Press the set button to calibrate and the display will show the value 67.00. Lock the calibration by pressing the ref button for one second and the ref1 shows in the display. Finally, check the calibration by pressing the calibration tool against the go end and the measuring sleeve. Now the gauge is calibrated and ready for proper measurements. If you have a worn out battery, you can change it like this. Remove the protection shield two pieces from the measuring house. Remove the battery with a Stanley knife. Place the new battery in the battery chamber, the plus side facing the front of the gauge. Then remount the protection shield to cover the battery chamber. Beware, when the battery has been changed, the measurement is shown as being negative. To change the counting direction, press both buttons simultaneously. The digi gauge confines reset by DIR in display. The measurement is shown correctly.